Hi everyone, it's Scrap Lady here. I have a couple of albums that I made that I'm going to share with you. Um, this one is a baby album, baby girl, that I made for a friend who's having a baby in May. And so this is my cover. And what I did was I had these little baby socks. I had got them at Goodwill. And I sprayed them with um, pink that I made um, a pink um, spray mist that I made myself and um, I used some um, eyeshadow and alcohol and then I put some I don't know if you can see that they're sparkly yeah I put some stickles on them just to make them a little sparkly and then these are two flowers that I got when I went to visit Dolly and I was shopping with her uh, I thought they fit really well there and the ribbon on the front well this is also another thing that I got when I went to that a dollar store with Dolly and I just put some stickles on it to kinda make it a little shiny and the ribbon that I used and I put three layers of it same thing I got from that a dollar store and it has different little a bib and a stork and different little um, a baby bottle a little baby feet and things like that on it so I just put three layers three rows of that on the front and the back and then this is just some flat back um, pearls that I had and I took the shape of a heart and I just um, made the glue line around that took it off and then I glued the um, trim right onto the paper and I added stickles again to that um, I just I love that look I did that with you'll see I did that with my other album too um, so then I just put some um, it's a big album you can see it's chunky and it's really big and I just put some ribbon to hold it closed um, and then on the front this is what I do with the front of all my album baby albums that I make it says I'll love you forever I'll love you for always as long as I'm living my baby you'll be and then I put name date of birth time of birth place of birth height and weight that they can fill in and then this is a little saying I got it says um, a baby will let's see I have to look at it this way a baby will make your love stronger days shorter bankroll smaller home happier clothes dirtier the past forgotten and the future worth living for and what I did was I just took this from um, this heart um, from just images I just looked for a heart image and I just put the writing inside it and then I just cut around it I love that that uh, kind of painted heart shape look so that's just from Google images so then each page has a pocket with the same exact thing I did this with a punch and I just um, an oval no an oval not a punch but an oval die and then I just cut it in half and then I put lace trim on one side and I put the other trim which is I gotta fix the little edges there there we go so I have to fix those edges and then that trim on, on the other side so every insert is the same that's a pocket for every page and then what I did was on every page this side is blank and then this side has something coordinating for pictures and they can do whatever they want over here um, so this one opens up like this and it has a couple of tags and it has a little um, a little horse and I just cut some ribbon and frayed it to put for the horse's tail and then I put uh, there's a pocket on the that that's a um, what do you call a horse from a carousel and um, I put ribbon here to kind of make it stand out and I made the pocket um, and then this this says little cutie and then two little tags and then this page 
I used a um, punch, and I, this is actually a ribbon, and it's like a nice, soft, um, velour kind of ribbon. If you can see that, but I used a punch for that. Put three tags in there. Put um, ribbon on the bottom, and then it opens up like this. And on this one, I just the bottom one. I just cut out three of the different uh, uh, the little mouse, the little bunny, and the little ducky, and I just colored them and put them on top to kind of make them a little dimensional. And then this page, I just put some ribbon down the edges and then some stickers on there. So that closes. And then uh, this one, I put Rick Rack on the bottom of the page right there. Variegated Rick Rack. So that closes like that and like that. And then it has a bow, ribbon to tie. I can get it here. Of course, you know, when you're trying to do this on camera, you're all thumbs. One more try, and if I don't get it, I'm moving on. <laughs> okay, so then the next page, I have the insert again, same insert as the other page, same exact thing. Okay, and then this page again is blank. In this page I made a big chunky pocket because I have a big chunky book in here. It's like an album within an album. So I did this. And I, I got this from, I will put the link, um, I, I believe I still have it. Um, I didn't make up this design. I did this design from someone else and the same thing for my daughters. I think it came from the same person. I love her albums and I it's faith by design or something like that but I'll make sure that I put it in so then this opens like this and this opens like this so there's tons and tons of space but it's very thick so I have a big pocket there and I put some rickrack and some ribbon on there and then rickrack around the yellow page and then this page uh, blank and then this one is a um, a book that's stuck on here and this says amazing and I have a clip here just pull the clip off and then it opens like this and like this and then there's a pocket with two little tags inside we are family and then I just put love on this side and on the back I put cutie pie so there's that And then same thing, another pocket here. So this one matches this one. And this is also attached, but this has a pocket right here for a nice big tag. And I put ribbon across the bottom that says it's a girl. And then um, on. I'm trying to move it so you can see everything. Sweet girl, and this one says the little things and then it opens up like this and I have a nice little blingy flower it says cherish and then another tag in here okay then again another pocket in there and this one has a little book that fits in the side here and this one just is with two holes and tied with a ribbon and just like that and then I put just little epoxy stickers on the top I like the way I did this one and then the back and then that fits in there and again another tab and then this one has the pull out tag like this and another pull out tag here and I used on these tags I just used these sticker carriages blue carriages that I have and I just they don't line up exactly but I just put them on there um, 
and then this opens like this. I actually have to put something on this one. I forgot to put a ribbon or something on this tag. So I have this tag here. The teal and the yellow. And so that's all that does. And then, yeah, that's it. So it just has these two tags, this tag, and then a place for a picture. And then the last page is blank, and then I just put my name, handmade by, and that's the back of the book. On the side. It's a big, chunky book. It's got a lot of space for pictures. So I had to actually cut back a page. I had eight pages, and I had to make it seven pages. And I had originally made the spine way, way too big. It was like twice the size. <laughs> So I had to redo it. So anyways, so there's that. I love the front. So that is that book. And then I have the book I made for my daughter for her birthday. And I did the same thing with this. I had some old jewelry, a necklace, and I just made the, the heart and made the glue, you know, traced around a heart and just put glue on it and uh, put the piece of the, the jewelry right around. And then this is some pretty lace that Dolly gave me and also some flowers that Dolly gave me. And then I tied it with this cool ribbon. This is paper that Caitlin had picked out. And I'm going to put the link. Again, This is I got this, this design by someone. Um, I think it's Faith by Design, but I love it. So you have this, and then you have this, okay, and then you have a little tag that goes in here, and then this one is a tag, M is for memories, and then I just put, uh, I had punched this out with paper and then just put some ribbon. Let's see, there we go. In there, and this opens up like this. And this is a flower thing that I got from Dolly. And then there's a tag here. So there's an opening here for a tag. And then you flip the page, and it's just like a little corner thing, and I put two tags in there. She could put pictures here. And then this one, there's a tag here, and another tag here. And then this one, uh, there's, this is another tag that I put uh, like a necklace thing on just to make it look sparkly. Another tag. And then this um, says C for Cherish, and then it opens up here. And then this one has a tag here, and a tag here. And then this one was just a blank page, so I put two photo mats on there with K and T for Kate and Tim. And then this one isn't like the one that she did. Um, I did. I had a really hard time with this page, so I kind of did my own um, my own thing. And hopefully, I can open this. There we go. Okay, so the string goes around here. I just put a brad. I had a really hard time with this, and then I put a button on top of this clock thing. And then it opens up. Next time I'll do it exactly the way that it was done in the, the video. Um, and then these are just um, the uh, waterfall pages. I just love this paper. And then this just carefully goes around here. Like that. And it keeps it closed. And then this one. It's just, I made a full, again, I did this one myself, just made a full page with a big tag. 
And then this one has a tag here. And a tag here. I just love these papers. And then two tags in this one. And a little tiny tag here. And then this one is a fun page right here. So it looks like an envelope. You have a tag. You pull the tag out. This is only attached on one side, so it opens like this. And then it opens like this. So you close it, put them together, which semi holds it until you put the tag in. And then, ta-da, it looks like a really pretty envelope. And then the back of the book, I just put the date that I made it. So anyways, those are the two books that I have made recently. Um, i got to send this one out to the friend and give this one back to Caitlin so she can put it, put some pictures in it and do what she needs. And I'm going to make one the same design for Nicole um, with different paper. So I will put the link to the video um, for both of these um, so that that's because that's the tutorial. I, I think it's like, I don't, it's faith by design or something. I'm, I apologize for saying it wrong, but I will definitely put the right link. So thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day. Bye.